Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. Good morning. morning. Happy Monday. Happy you guys. Monday, and welcome to the show. Today, we're going to be talking about, what are we talking about? Switching your thinking from outside in to inside out. Okay, you know, when I raise my cup like this, right? In the beginning, and mm. the, the, the... Steam? No, what's it called when you, um... When there's music to a movie or something, it's called mm. um, scoring, right? And the, the like score that went through my head was, oh uh, my gosh, da -da. Da -da -da. like what is that? Mission Impossible? I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, good morning, everybody. Good morning, you guys. So first thing first. It is day one of the In Motion Challenge, community-wide challenge, okay? If you haven't already downloaded the Team X and the app, then make sure to do so. That's all you have to do, really, in order to participate. That and, of course, a commitment to move 20 minutes a day. And log your shit. For 21 days. It's simple, but it's hard. On day one, you're like, oh yeah, just 20 minutes. Look, it's about the commitment for 21 days. <laughs> Let's see you complete it on day 18 when you don't feel like it. Day 19, when you woke up and started your period. Day 21, when it's a Sunday. Day 22, when somebody wants you to go do something else instead of your workout. But that's day 22. Oh yeah. Some people will do day 22. Yeah. Well, we're gonna Power do it again. Yeah. This this is our this is our second in motion challenge. Okay, guys, I see the comments coming in about the mug. Listen, we're actually rebranding the logo. Oh my gosh, cat's out of the bag, and you will see it on today's YouTube drop of this episode, uh, the podcast that will show up in a couple days. But we are going to make a mug. I just decided this morning, and I told Sarit, she said yes. So the mug is going to have the new branding on it and you'll be able to get them at AaronAndSarit.com. Of course, we'll let you know when, but for now, you can have envy. <laughs> okay, so on to today's topic. Good morning, good morning, everybody. So I would like to start by you know, sharing a bit of my story. Again, these Yay! conversations are all just like, we, you know, we call ourselves out on our bullshit. We grow with you. And the point is to connect with you through real life storytelling so you understand our experiences. And hopefully it moves you to lead your life in a more positive, passionate, aligned way. I love story time. <laughs> so this is something that, gosh, I have a lot of gifts and a lot of positive things about me, but I will tell Are you, you guys on the edge of your seat. I don't even know what story she's but, telling. But no, but like I, I'm calling myself out that for the longest time, and this is, this has been a work in progress <laughs> for the longest time I would, you know, and back in the day when I was like an employee and whatnot, like I would always get to work late like not by much but like a minute or two like I will always do all my things really really right um, my people know that nobody loves them like I love them I mean we're Lauren starting... is dying right now Tammy's dying yeah, right now yeah yeah <laughs> yeah and and this is what I tell my teams too I'm like I'm like you guys your biggest strength can also be your biggest weakness. However, I've evolved because at this point in my life, my, my normalcy of being late is due to being caught up in helping other people, which again, it's a form of boundaries, but you know what, you guys, we're all work in progress. And my point for sharing this story is to tell you that I'm not, I'm not 
perfect by any means whatsoever. However, I'm so much better than I was before. Like I will never forget it back in the day when I worked at Lululemon and my very first life mentor and I call her Yoda up till today because she has, you know, completely switched my mindset, but uh, you know, one of one of Lululemon's core values is integrity and taking ownership. And <laughs> I remember like I would I'd walk into work like on a snowy day, I'll send her text like saying always taking ownership about the fact that like I'm going to be late when I when I was going to be like more than a minute late. Like, I was like, stuck in the snow, there's traffic, gonna be 10 minutes late. Always communicating about it, having integrity, but never fully taking ownership of the entire process. Like, blaming the snow, blaming the traffic. Can or you correcting get... it. Yeah. Can you guys relate to this? You've helped me with this tremendously. We still have work to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, I it's also an underestimation of the amount of time it takes you to do something. Yes. And I think that's what I've pointed out because I know for me, I was thinking about this actually yesterday and how you become who you surround yourself with. And there are habits that you have that I had never had on both ends, good habits and not that mm. I've, uh, I wouldn't say I've fully adapted to all of them, mm -hmm. but I've noticed I've come kind of closer to you in them, like the snooze alarm. I and you guys I used to every single every single day. Alarm, I'm up. Alarm, I'm up. And we both changed on different ends of the spectrum. And now I'll sleep like an extra five minutes. But you used to sleep a lot more. Mm -hmm. And like snooze, snooze I used snooze, to snooze, snooze, snooze for like a freaking half hour. And now you don't. But it's like, um, but I anyways, don't. I don't not. rush to like get up as soon as the alarm goes off because I know that I give myself extra time. So like, I give I give Boogie like a little pat on his um, on his butt, and like <laughs> I roll over, I give you a little scratch, I tell you I love you. I feel like this morning, <laughs> I was like half like half sleeping when I was saying it. And you know, like I, I restfully get myself up within a couple of minutes. I feel like I have to get up right away or like I'm doomed. Oh. So that's why I'm like, I gotta get up. Cause if I don't, like I have this fear of like severely oversleeping. Sure. But my point for calling myself out is to relate to you guys. And you know what the, the reality is, is that me saying, oh, it's stuck in the snow, there's lots of traffic. It's like me blaming things other than myself. The reality is, is that all of that could have been avoided had I left the house 20 minutes earlier. But what would you have needed to do earlier then or faster before that? Get ready. Okay, what were you doing before you got ready? Just dilly-dallying, honestly. So, when people are, are tardy... Tardy? <laughs> Don't be a tardy. It's, and I would always... I would be late to class just because I was talking with oh my, my friends gosh. in the hallway. I like, I was talking so with my friends. for class. I would be in line. <laughs> gosh, I'm involved so much. I would be in line to get my coffee when class had already started. But you always have to track yourself back to like, what was I doing before that? What was I doing before that? What was I doing before that? Eventually, you're going to run into something you didn't need to be doing or you spent way too much time doing that was unnecessary that could have made up for the time. So I always will work backwards and add like five minutes to whatever I'm doing in order to like, then by the time I get to where I need to be at a certain time, I have like a 30 minute to an hour buffer <laughs> and I'm like okay if it take me extra time to do something I'm still on time I was the nerd that was like the first to the party I'm here because <laughs> you told me a time so I showed up at the time gosh you know now that I'm thinking about it 
when I grew up in Jamaica, okay, so... Wait, wait, and then when does it become cool to be late? It got fashionably late. Yeah, and... Why? Because you're so important? No, in Jamaica, it's a thing. Like, whenever you're told that something is at, let's say, 10 o'clock, that means that you should show up at noon. Why? I think that's like, how it all started. so not logical at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. Soon come. Yeah. Means never. Right. They soon live on come. soon come land. I will be there maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I um, can't. I just can't. But, you know, the point is making excuses like there's no outside, there's traffic, you know, with regards to, let's say, getting to work on time. That's just one example. It's all making excuses that are all correlated with regards to the outside in. And the point is to turn it around and instead... Um, what am I trying to say with that? Switch, switch your lingo or your perspective to the inside out. Like, what could I have done? Like, exactly whatever you asked me. What could I have done in order to take ownership of this and actually turn my actions around? And the reason why we are sharing this point with you, it's because I guarantee that for each and every one of you guys, there's at least one area in your life where you can improve upon it now and we know that because at this point like you know especially if you've been watching our show for quite some time then you know you've probably seen a lot of growth with with regards to your personal development but you know if you're just starting to listen to our show because now we're on podcast and whatever like start paying attention to how many times you blame outside circumstances in your life. This is the concept of taking ownership for better or for worse. You know, you failed a test, shit, that's on you. You, you, you came late to work, shit, that's on you. Yes, some things may happen that are outside of your control. However, your life happens to you because of you. You know what I'm thinking is funny right now? What? We start this show late every single day. <laughs> yeah, except for interview days. Those are always on time. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? We, 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 there's, there's no excuse. Guess what? This show now starts at about 6.30-ish. Okay, I'm making a commitment. C- pub- public accountability. Starting tomorrow... We are starting at 6.30 on the dot. I'm putting the pressure on myself by saying this to you guys every single day. I know know we can do this because we do this on interview days all the time. I know we can do this. Yeah. It just, I'm like, I'm like, let me finish reading this chapter. But y'all were early-ish today. We were only six minutes late. It's the 14. I know. Sometimes there's like 12 minutes. That's when we're like, oh. I'm like, give me your coffee cup. We're starting on time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Anyways, public you know what? Sometimes in the morning you gotta take a poo poo. And sometimes take a little longer than expected, and you can't just make it come. But, but, <laughs> here's the thing you always have to call yourself out because the, the reality is, is that our standards are way higher than let's say the normal standards that I would say society has. Like, for example, we realized that when we went out to lunch with Dr. Furman, Mm -hmm. whom we interviewed like a little over a month ago, I think, we we took him out to lunch and we got there 10 minutes early. You remember what I said? No, what did you say? So I'm, I'm gonna write a book and this is one of the things that was gonna go in the book because okay. when when you look up to and respect somebody um okay in this situation i had a standard for myself and that was to be early yes and then they were a couple minutes late which like i get it you know and and but in my mind i started thinking oh well you know if if this person's late or if 
that person's late or somebody you really respect, Tony Robbins. Oh my gosh, well, Tony Robbins is late. Like, I guess it's not, I guess it's not so bad to be late. And I was like, no, never let somebody else's standards dictate your own. Doesn't matter who they are. Never let somebody else's standards dictate your own unless their standards are something admirable that you would like to adopt. Amen. I remember I had that thought. I was like, oh, it's okay. It seems they can do it. Nah, bruh. Yeah. Grant says, if you're on time, you're late. In order to be on time, you always want to be If you're early. early, you're on time. And if you're on time, you're late. Exactly. And if you're late, then you're probably making an excuse. And it doesn't matter like how well-intended you are. Again, this is me calling myself out on it's the snow, it's the traffic, whatever, whatever. Hey, there's always freak accidents. Like, oh, my tire got flat. You don't drive to work planning to have a flat tire. Yeah, you don't need, need an extra hour. Yeah, you don't need to leave the house, I would say, like an extra half hour. Oh, you, <laughs> so you can get there. Oh, let me get there like 20 minutes ahead of time. I do that when we have a flight. I'm like, I want to, I would rather be there two hours early than a minute late. Hmm. But anyways... Um, we're talking about ownership, right? From the inside, out, from the outside into the inside out. From the outside in is you letting things happen to you. From the inside out is saying, what do I have control over to better this situation or to uh, learn from and grow into the next time something like this happens? Um, it's responsibility and ownership. Yeah, so, own your sh own your shit. so it is Mindset Monday and we talked about the concept of just like tardiness, but the reality is, is that, you know, it, it applies to any aspect of your life. Like, you know, think about your body, for example, and the current situation that it's in. You know, a lot of times when people come to us for the very first time, they, they blame their body. Like, you know, my body is this, my body is that. And yes, though, some of the statements that you're making are, are facts. Like if you're fat, you're fat. Like if you have fat, you have fat. Yeah. That's what she means. But you know, I, I want to use the concept of like hypothyroidism because we get that a lot because it's become such like a common phenomenon because like people eat like garbage. Mm -hmm. It is not, it is not your body's fault that you developed hypothyroidism. It is your fault. And your body is just a byproduct of what you've given it. Unless you were born with a condition. If you developed something in you, into your adulthood, you have to ask yourself, why did I develop this? Because if you weren't born with it, was it supposed to be? I don't know the answer, but generally speaking, no. It happened over time because of some kind of repetitive action or inaction. You don't gain 20 pounds of fat in a week. You gain it over a long period of time due to action or inaction or both mm -hmm. consistently. So it's the same thing then with your hormones. Um, you know, like how many times have you guys heard and I used to say back in the day too, like, I hate my body. You know, I do all these things and blah, blah. And the, that, the, the people who can probably relate to this are, are the people who I would say are health conscious and work out a lot, but they don't actually know the facts. They just make assumptions. You know, you start blaming your body and you say things like, I hate my body, blah, blah, blah. Like you blame shit on your body. Like I remember, you know, when my shoulders, when I started training the right way and I went into CrossFit with fucked up shoulders, like I always blamed my shoulders. I'm like, damn, my poor fucking shoulders. I just never took care of them. And right now they're just like, I hate you. Don't do this thing. So it's manifested in the form of pain, lack of range of motion, whatever you want to call it. Meanwhile, I was like walking around blaming my shoulders for years, saying my shoulders this, my shoulders that, I blah, blah, blah. I can't do this because of Blah, my blah, blah, because of my shoulders. I'm like, no, bitch, it's because of you. 
Because you didn't you take caused care of that it. Shit. <laughs> you caused it. So pay very close attention to your language. You know whether it's with regards to your body, the current situation that you're in, whatever adversities or limitations that you have, just take ownership of it, right? So for example, you know, with regards to push-ups, like I know that a lot of you guys are currently working on your push-ups and let's face it, this community, you guys have a long way to go with regards to your fitness, just saying. But like, don't blame your body for it just because you've been inactive or inconsistent for years and decades doesn't mean that it's your body's fault. It's your fault for not making your body a priority so right now, what's happening? You totally just rolled your eyes. No, I'm thinking. So, so right now, you, you know, like you have to take ownership of the situation, regardless of what's happening. And, you know, just own it. Own it. Say, you know what? Shit, I suck at doing push-ups. One thing that I heard, I'll never forget. Maya Angelou said, if you don't like something, change it. And if you can't change it, change your attitude. Mm -hmm. I would add to that. If you think you can't change it, think again. Ooh. If you think you can't change it, think again. Because a lot of time you have control over things you don't realize. So I would question yourself. If you say, nope, nothing I can do about it, challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because... There are a lot of things, I think, in the society that we live in. Uh, somebody made a comment on, uh, several of you saw uh, an IGTV that I posted yesterday. I was in a very vulnerable position and I was having a shitty day, to be frank. And it was a really tough week for me, for whatever reasons. And I wanted everybody to know, I'm human and you're not alone. And somebody commented on there and said, thanks for sharing. It makes us average Joes feel like you were not alone. And I said, average is a funny thing because average is smack in the middle of mean, which means the most. If you take, if you take a, a series of numbers ranging from four to 38 and whatever the mean is or the most of is average, there's average in the middle there. And that is also like most. Where most people are, yeah. And so if we think about it, like what the, what, what was the, I was thinking that most people, and, and this is a society, right? So most is what we're influenced by because it's what we see the most often. So if you think, do I wanna be like most people? Okay, then I'll do what most people do. If I don't want to be like most people, this dude, can you hear him? The bear tato. The bear tato. Uh, if I don't want to be like most people, I have to do something different than most people are doing. So I'm going to challenge my thinking because a lot of people will say, you know, oh, I can't because of this. Like Sarit was saying, I can't because of that. But can, is, is it true? Like ask yourself, is it actually true? I know. Do you have facts, verifiable facts and figures and data that prove that what you think is true is true? And if not, be open-minded that maybe it's not. Maybe you have control over something you didn't realize you do. And then it'd be like, like a whole new world. Okay. So we talked, mental we, we talked about it with regards to, you know, tardiness versus being on time with regards to your body, but you know, the reality is with regards to relationships too, how many times, you know, and that goes to those who were either in a relationship or in a relationship, um, you know, have you blamed the other person when you got into a conflict? Like 
she said this, she did that, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, dude, like, it takes two to tango. But what did you do? Like, like maybe she did something, but what did you do in order for her to do it? Or what did you not do? And I truly believe that that is why, that is one of the many reasons why the divorce rate is so high, not just in this country, but all around the world. It's because people lack ownership. They blame their significant other, like he cheated on me. Yeah, but how about you stop taking care of yourself? You guys, you know, stop being intimate. You stop, you know, making one another a priority. Like all you focused on is the kids. You didn't have any time management skills. So you didn't create any time to spend together. So guess what? Like humans, have a need yeah and it's and it sounds like this i did this because they this oh yeah i did this because they this no the the next thing that says after because should be yourself i did this because i didn't communicate clearly that i was frustrated with how you weren't taking care of yourself yeah. so i chose to go elsewhere and now please understand that we're not saying that cheating by any means is the right thing. Because well, n neither is. Right. Right to say. Right. Neither of them is. Like, I just want to put it out there so that you guys understand. We're not saying that that is the case. But I think one of the many reasons why people end up getting a divorce is because of, I feel like there is adultery is is that is that what yeah. cheating is it's yeah. because of a, adultery somebody started having an affair because uh, i mean and and you can always say because of why because of why because of why a lack of communication a lack of ownership um a lack of a good relationship with your damn self yeah but anyways this this is very much about ownership and just saying what what is it that i have control am i responsible for this if you think it's somebody else's fault, challenge yourself. That's all. That's all I would suggest. Just challenge yourself. Is it really? Or is there something I could have done better? If I get frustrated with Sarit, I've gotten the in, in the habit of saying, okay, but wait. Is there something I did that would make her behave a certain way? Is there something I said that would make her react the way that made me feel not good? Is there something I could have done better to not have this outcome currently? And I've gotten in the habit of saying that because I've done it the other way enough times. Trust me, like I'm not a saint. I've done, I've done it the other way enough times to have finally learned from it. And I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't work every single time. To say that it's because of somebody else or something else. Um... When we want something bad enough, we find a way to get it, I always say. And if you really care about something, you will get creative in finding the solution. And the first place we would suggest that you look is within yourself. Mm. And that is from the inside out. Yeah. With regards to anything, and you know, these, this is just a small reminder and a reminder to us as well, because mm -hmm. by all means, we're not perfect. But look, like you said, free, freakish accidents happen all the time. But for the most part, your life happens to you because of you. And for better or for worse, you have to take ownership. And you know what? Sometimes it stings. And I truly believe that a lot of people in their subconscious mind, like I did, blame the snow, blame whatever, because your intentions are good. Your intentions are good. My intentions were to get to work on time. However, my actions weren't in alignment with my intentions. So it gives you this like... The cushion. road to hell is paved with good intentions. So like it gives you this, the, this comforting cushion because your intentions are good. But I meant you know, well. It's just like for somebody who's trying to lose weight and you buy all, you buy your, um, low fat, fat, fat free coffee creamer. Low and fat wheat thins. 
your intentions are good, but your actions are not. So like you end up blaming your body for, oh, I feel so bloated. I look blah, blah, blah. Like, no, your intentions are good, but your actions are not in alignment. So, you know, consider this with regards to your relationship with your body, with regards to your relationship with other people, with regards to your responsibilities in life, all of the hats in which you play, being a career person, with regards to your job, with regards to, you know, the people that you basically are surrounded by, be it your kids, your significant others, your friends, your dog, whatever, right? Your cats, all 14 of them. And if you think I, I can't, I can't change something. Also ask yourself, what do I need to learn more of mm. about X to maybe have more control? Or who do I need to connect yes. with yes, that in order to have the answer? Yep. Look, if you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, and Albert Einstein say that, say that, said that. Him say that. <laughs> doing the same thing over and over again, expecting the same result is... Expecting the, a different result. It, it is the true definition of insanity. Fail forward. Didn't work okay. Do it different. <laughs> what do I need to do in order to figure it out? Or do I want to stay where I am and just, you know, like keep on wasting my time and efforts? It's up to you. Remember, by the end of the day, this is your life and your life is a byproduct of your choices. Your choices dictate the actions in which you take or don't take, which dictate your habits, basically the program in which all of the actions that you take or don't take run on, which determines your life. Your body, your relationships, your financial status are all a byproduct of your habits, whether you like it or not. So this is just a small reminder. So, okay, how do you move ahead with regards to that? What action steps do you have to take? For one, Whatever it is in life that you've, you have to notice, okay, what, ha, what have I been blaming in my life with regards to certain situations? So for example, you know, for me, it's not starting exactly at 6.30 with regards to this show every single day. I'm calling myself out on it. So the next thing that I'm doing, I made a public commitment to you guys. Just watch me. So the second thing that you have to, so first thing you have to watch take me. ownership with regards to whatever aspect of your life that needs to change, right? You have to establish ownership from the inside out instead of outside in. Then you make a commitment because if you don't commit, nothing changes. Nothing changes if nothing changes. You're the only one who is capable of creating the change. And the first thing that you have to do is to make a commitment because without commitment, you're gonna keep on doing the same thing over and over again. Ooh, Kristen St. Louis said, making an excuse just takes away from your integrity. Oh, yes, no. yes, it does. Oh, it does. And you can be a good person, but still not have full integrity. And then the third thing that you have to do is you have to follow through and the cycle repeats itself because you always have to check yourself. You always have to check yourself. So step one, take ownership, stay t step two, make a commitment and step three, follow through and then repeat, repeat, repeat. So I just made a public commitment because I acknowledged the fact that I don't start the show exactly at 6.30 every single day. And we're going to increase the standard. Therefore, it's going to start at 6.30 sharp every single day, telling you this right now, because this is me holding myself publicly accountable in front of 54 people. Not to mention the rest that are going to listen or watch. Yes. And then I have to follow through with it. Look, I think it was Lauren said, you know how, you know how, uh, what, what was the word you used, Lauren? Ruthless? this community can be or fierce or ferocious or whatever. She said, so you better show up on time now. Yeah. You guys get ferocious whenever somebody says something mean to us or about us. You guys are like, ah. yeah. And it's no, I, I have no choice right now. 
And when you make a commitment, by the way, too, make it public. Don't make a commitment to yourself. Because when you make a commitment to yourself, like, how many times have you made a commitment to yourself and actually followed through? Like, let's be real. There, you about to for the next 21 days. Yeah. If you're doing the in motion challenge, say I'm committed. Hashtag I'm committed. I'm committed. Mm-hmm. Aaron shows up alone. No way. No way. <laughs> I thought about starting the video today and just being like, <laughs> what's funny too is I I've done this also. You did this to me today. I'm like, are you ready? You're like, I'm ready. And you're like writing stuff. And I'm like, you're not ready. But I've totally done the same thing. We're like, you're in your mind. You're like, I want to be ready. Hurry. Let me finish this thing. Um, but yeah, we will be here. It's gonna, the camera, Mark said I'm something. Button. Mark, Mark Fleeg. Shout out to Mark Fleeg. I love you, dude. He said, and attach something to it if you fail. It's true. You need, you need to have a pun, like a punishment system. Punishment. This... This society is too freaking soft. All you guys want is rewards. But I want two scoops. But the reality is, is that you need to have, you, you, you need to, you need to be punished. Like if you don't show up with regards to what you committed to or what you signed off on, you got to be punished. So life punishes you all the time. If your body is not in alignment, Weight gain, that's a punishment for eating like shit, for not taking responsibility of how you eat. Uh, a suffering relationship is a punishment for not taking care of your partner the way that you know you can. That, that's a punishment for not being financially disciplined and for not educating yourself. Yeah, you get them collections calls. Oof, I hated those. They and, call and, me all the time, axing me for money. So for anybody who's like, I'm committed... For anybody who's like, I'm committed. I see a lot of them. What is going to be the consequence of you not following through? Get real with yourself about it. Because, if, because now you've got something to lose. Yeah, if there isn't an already clearly established consequence, establish a consequence and then tell somebody about it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Who wants to see the new branding? I will make a post about it. I want to share it. And I, in my mind, I think you guys want to see it. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but it's what's going to go on the new mug. It's not going to look like this. It's not going to look like this. Especially, it's not going to be backwards. Okay. Um, I'm declaring a punishment system for myself. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. -ru. Should I not follow through with this? And by the way, why, why are we doing this? You guys, we practice what we preach. Shame on me to tell you that you have to do X, Y, and Z if I don't do it. Just saying. It's a, it's, it's, it's a continuous personal growth and development. For a lifetime. Yes. And this is one thing we can get better at. Yes. So. We're lifelong students. If I don't start this video at 6.30, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not drinking my cup of coffee while talking. That's my punishment. Uh-oh. <laughs> it helps the thoughts flow better. That's it. Oh, my gosh. You guys are awesome. Thanks for joining us. If you liked or found value in today's episode, please share the love. Please leave a review. Five stars, maybe. I'm not sure, but something like that. Um, but also an honest review. And if you're watching this on YouTube, do us a favor and please hit the subscribe subscribe Subscribe. And... Just a few more housekeeping things. We do have a date confirmed for our very first live speaking event. True. That will be on the weekend of... It's December... I think the weekend of December 13th. 13th the weekend. 11, 12, 13. Yes. December 11th, 12th, and 13th. And we will be in Idaho. 
We will be where buying exactly? It. We're not sure. We don't have like. I know where. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. But we can make a post about it. So, yeah. Because well, I don't want to bore you right now with us trying to look for the details. But it is December 11th through 13th. And we will also have a link to the event if you guys care to go. I think they said the price of the, the tickets or seats is going to be between 500 and 2000 mm -hmm. Something like that. So, um, plus whatever travel. So, anyways, if you guys care and if the topic of the event and the purpose and the intention of the event aligns with you. Amazing, great, we would love to see you. Um, but I think we're also gonna if, probably- if not, if not, we did discuss probably for anybody from our community who, whether you wanna show up for the event or just um, take a drive to meet us in person, we're probably gonna have like a, a meet and greet somewhere in that town that we're gonna be in um, the night that we're speaking. So, yeah we're gonna do some some we're gonna do some we are not sure of the details yet but we will figure it out so that being said you guys remember take ownership step one make a commitment step two step three follow through and repeat raw transformation people we will see you at 2 p.m pacific standard time today and our circle peeps we will see you at 5 p.m pacific standard time today the rest of y'all we wish you a beautiful day. Maybe you will see us on the burn zone on your live screen. And remember, tomorrow is Q&A day. So whatever questions you've got, tell me if you can please do us a favor and drop the link for the form so that they can the questions. ask all their questions. That'll be amazing. Tomorrow, we're going to be answering any and all of your questions. But in the meantime, you guys, we hope that you have a beautiful day and a beautiful start to the week ahead. We will see you tomorrow at 630 sharp. Bye, Bye. guys.